Hi, hello everyone. Uh, so last time uh, we left off uh, with this triangle and uh, that triangle uh, was actually uh, created uh, by being embedded in our vertex shader. And this time what we're actually going to try to do is uh, create the geometry data and then load geometry data to GPU instead of writing it in vertex shader like it was done here. Um, so just before we start, uh, code uh, from the last time, if, if this triangle is not the same as something that you had previously, I mean it should be, uh, but anyway, there is a GitHub code uh, uh, and you can just uh, take it from the description of the video. So we left off with part 2, now we're doing part 3. So part 2 will be beginning code for this video and part 3 of the WebGPU series is at the it, and it is it is end of this video, so it is code that we're going to have by the end. Uh, so let's get started with it. Uh, so as I mentioned, we're just going to tackle this part, loading the geometry data onto the vertex st stage. And to do that, actually, we need to first prepare our buffers. And buffers in this case is just uh, memory, a chunk of memory that we're going to pass from the CPU. So central processing unit to the GPU, your graphics card. And how do we do that? We can just say create buffer. It's going to be of type GPU buffer. And like everything, we're just going to say byte length, this. Uh, let's see, I, uh, I just need one more parameter and that's mapped creation. And then uh, let's just explain this quickly. So byte length, uh, you can also just paste regular data or sorry regular javascript array here but then you have to like uh, correctly figure out byte length of it and it's usually length of array times float uh, 32 array dot bytes per element or just uh, length of array times four uh, we're going to use it in vertex shader and this just means just copy the data uh, to destination this destination being the buffer we're going to map it in creation. Later, in some of the later video, we're actually not going maybe we're maybe not going to use it map at creation. We're actually going to dynamically pass the data at later stages. But for now, let's just use this. And this, I, I hate this. I really hate this notation, but it is what it is. So uh, we're just going to create a new float tier two array. We're going to use our buffer. So this is how you say, okay, now we can copy to it and then we can set data and then we just have to unmap it and then we can return it. And here we're just going to create our buffers and we're going to have two of those. So uh, we'll need them globally. Uh, so GPU buffer and then we're going to have callers buffer. So we're not going to just pass positions, we're also going to pass callers. So each of these edges will be colored differently now. Uh, and let's see further. So how do we do that? Uh, I'm not saying anything. How do we do that? Actually, we can get rid of this. And here, we're not going to need this anymore. Uh, we're actually going to say uh, location. We can say position, that's fine. And we, we're going to have second location, one, colors. And that's going to be of vector gf. So what are we passing here? We're passing just x and y. And here we're going to pass red, green, and blue for color. All right. Uh, here it's breaking up because we haven't passed anything. So we can just say position here. And we can say not colors, it should be color. And we can say color here. It's still broken and I'll get to it. Uh, but important takeaway is uh, notice this vector four and vector four four which takes color and then last parameter so uh, with this uh, web gpu uh, sorry shader types you can paste them like this it can be vector three here then last element then it can be maybe uh, vector 2f here vector 2f here you get the idea and this must be f it's just the constructor works like that so it can be also here and then vector r3f here and and similarly for vector 3f we can pass vector 2f and then 1 0 or you can just pass every component by itself so here since we don't have vector 2 it will just 
0101, for example. You get the idea. I, I, I just wanted to clarify that if this is confusing you. All right, uh, that's it when it comes to that. And so for the uh, further, uh, what we need is actually if you go to prepare model method, we had this vertex state. And here, if you remember, last time I mentioned this buffer is, is empty, and now it's not going to be empty. And if you look at it, it uh, its arguments are iterable of G, GPU vertex buffer layout. So it means just array of vertex buffer layouts. And let's call it position buffer layout. And it's of GPU buffer layout. Uh, vertex buffer layout, sorry. And then we can just create it. And uh, here it will have some uh some arguments which i'm going to explain set zero format is fine let's see further step mode is vertex okay so uh stride uh let's let's quickly discuss stride uh let's see uh, so let's say that we have some triangle over here uh Let's just say we have triangle over here, and then we have uh, some data here, right? And that data needs to be represented somehow, x, y, then it may, might be vertex 2 x, y, this is x, uh, this is y, and then x, y. And let's try this uh, size of this vertex. So in this case, it's 2 times uh, 4 because this 4 is float and floats are 4 bytes so it's same as 2 times uh, oh my god I, I should do this over so it's same as saying 2 times uh, float and float is 4 bytes so there, therefore uh, but you can also just say uh, float to 2 bytes per element and if you can see here it doesn't say it but it should be four uh, okay shader location it's actually should correspond to this here and we always go from zero and then location one two three four but similarly you're going to create on CPU something that corresponds to that and describes the data uh, flow 32 flow 32 so 32 bits or four bytes it's, it's, <laughs> this notation is really confusing sometimes because they use bits sometimes it's bytes uh, but anyway, uh, and then 2 times 2 because it's vector 2. Offset, uh, we're going to use it in future, not right now, but we don't have any offset in our, or in our data, so that's fine. And step mode is vertex because it's in vertex shader. Uh, and then we can just do similarly for colors. And it's going to be almost exactly the same, except we're going to use where previously we hit of not 4, where previously we had two, now it's four. So we could say RGB times four bytes per float. Ah, this is nice description. Attributes, uh, shader location one. Format, uh, be careful, format is now times three. And then also be careful with basic attributes here because it takes RA. So here it's an object. And then uh, that's it. And just step mode, we need to define step mode as well, which is vertex. And then it's broken, uh, which is expected because we still have to pass it here. Position buffer layout, color buffer layout, these are our layouts. Still not working. It's actually not that hard to figure out why. Uh, we just need to go down and uh, we, we essentially created buffers. So we have this memory. We we created the buffers here. Uh, actually, we never. <laughs> oh wow, we never did this step. Oh, all right. Let's do this quickly. This position buffer. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And then we can just say colors buffer. Okay, red, green, blue. Okay, so uh, our positions are X and Y, and our colors are R, G, and B. All right, this is vertex one, two, three. 
for of our triangle. Okay, and then at the end, uh, let's just see. So we have our buffers here. Uh, we have that memory that we're going to pass to the GPU. We have described our buffers, how are they going to be used on the GPU. So this part is description of, of uh, what we're passing. And then we just need to actually paste them. And then we can do this in pass encoder. Uh, so vertex, set vertex buffer, zero, this position buffer, and then one, this colors buffer. If I save it, it looks broken because I have a bug somewhere. Invalid command buffer. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Okay, I found what was wrong. It's actually uh, really, I think it's really stupid. I haven't found what's wrong. Let's see once again. Valid object is invalid. Q, this doesn't really help me. Invalid command buffer. I broke it somewhere. Oh, oh, my bad. My bad, I haven't seen it. Uh, so it's just <laughs> that. I actually drew first before I even set the vertex buffers. Oh, uh, all right, it happens. It happens, I didn't notice it really. But anyway, uh, it's working now. So uh, you can see uh, here, uh, let's remove this. So this uh, and this, uh, this zero and one correspond exactly to uh, this location zero, this location one and the, in shader, they correspond to these two guys. Uh, sorry, these two guys. All right, that's it. Uh, so takeaway, uh, you kind of have to create a buffer. So this is our uh, memory, but we don't do anything with it yet. Then we need to describe it, right? So that uh, GPU can interpret data that comes at this position location. Sorry, these locations. And then in shader, we also have to say our locations, and then we just need to paste it here. Anyway, uh, that's it for the next time. Uh, actually, let, let's do just a small bonus. Uh, let's create a quad. And if you remember, I mentioned that uh, our model is drawn uh, as, uh, if we wanna draw something more complex, we need to add more primitives. So we can just add another triangle, but it's actually going to be a quad. So, uh, let's get to it. Uh, here we can just copy this guy. Uh, and then, then let's see what do we get here. Now this is wrong. So it ends here. And this is now going to be minus 0 0.5. And then we can copy this one here. So uh, we're actually drawing this again. Uh, and then we're going to move it to the right here. So it will be 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And then we just need to move it at the bottom here. So it will be 0 0.5 min minus 0 0.5. It's still not working because we have to say six here. Now we have six vertices. It's broken because we also have to copy colors as well, right? It doesn't have all the colors data. If I copy this here, it should work. All right. And then you can play with colors here. Uh, but why are colors like this? Well, basically, uh, here we specified, for example, this, let, let's look at this triangle. We specified that this will be blue, this will be red, and then it has to linearly interpolate between uh, those those two uh, vertexes, all right? Because we can just specify uh, our edges here. Uh, so uh, we specify this, we specify this, then it goes from this, and this is somewhere 0 0.5. So this, this here is a mix of, uh, red and blue and green to some extent. All right, uh, that's it. So th this is basically how you can draw quad. Then uh, well, you can play with colors here, maybe specify some other colors. Okay, yeah, you get the idea. And then uh, similarly to last time, you can also see how it looks with uh, 
what was it? Line strip. Yeah, yeah, it kind of looks like it looks. I don't know. But let's let's keep at triangles and yeah, that's it for this time. Next time, uh, yeah, like I mentioned, we're going to cover texturing uh, and maybe. Uh, how to draw with elements that's also important so that's for next time uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video and until next time